Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna generate PWM signals using STM32 for controlling the speed of this DC motor. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let's do the connections. For driving the DC motor, I'm using this ULN2003 IC. Let's put it here. And we have the power supply here. Connect the 5 volt to our STM32. The PWM signal is gonna generate it through the A8 pin. So I'm gonna put this here. Okay, let's start coding. First of all, open the cube IDE. File, new project. Set the part number to STM32 F103 C8. Okay, now we are going to make our pinout configurations. Start with system, set it to serial wire, and RCC, HSC to crystal ceramic resonator, and the PWM. This is gonna be uh, generated from channel 1. PWM generation um, channel 1. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, implement the quiz that I mentioned in my Instagram page. In my quiz, I asked the TCL car, which is the bus frequency at 32 MHz, per scaler at 63.99 and auto reload registered to 99. I'll answer this question in my page. So let's implement this example. Pre scaler to 
counter period, which is auto load register 99. This will generate the 50, uh, 50 hertz PWM signal. Okay, the last setting is about uh, channel polarity. Uh, the default value is high, which means that the signal here starts from 1 to 0. So if we want to uh, implement exactly this uh, pulse here, we should change it to low. So in this case, it starts from 1 and when the uh, value the, the value in CCR register match the counter value it changes states from 1 to 0 ok let's generate the code save so oh, I uh, I forgot to make the clock configuration, so let's get back and make this uh, bus frequency to 32 MHz. Set this to HSE, PCL call, multiply by 4, ok now we have 32 MHz bus frequency, save. Ok, let's start coding. First of all, we need to add a single line of code here to initialize the uh, PWM. Call time PWM start HCAM 1 over channel 1. Okay, and now we are going to initialize the CCR registers which actually uh, determine our D2 cycle. HTAM1 that instance instance at CCR1. PWM value. First of all, we should uh, define the PWM value also. PWM. Okay. PWM var plus plus and in order to make this uh, repetitive you need to make a simple if condition here wm while greater than 100 in zero and all of them are going to be executed in a 300 milliseconds delay. Okay, we are done with coding. Now let's plug in the power supply and debug the circuit. Okay, simply press the debug button here. Uh, we, we want to inspect this uh, value here, so come to live expressions, initial value is 0 and with every execution of this loop here, the PWM value is going to be added one by one, so when uh, this value is increasing in this mode, you hear that the duty cycle decreases 
so it starts with maximum uh, speed at first in startup however by a time the uh, duty cycle gets uh, smaller and smaller and until it reaches it reaches the maximum value and the duty cycle becomes the minimum value let's try this okay hit resume Uh, here you see that when the value increases, the DC cycle decreases and the voltage applied to DC motor becoming very low. Now it's almost zero. Mm. And now we are going to implement the reverse uh, condition of this signal. Uh, it will, it will it starts from one, and when it hits the CCR register, it, it will change from one to zero. So by increasing the PWM value, the UT cycle of the signals is gonna be increased also. Let's start the example. Uh, I need to change the polarity in signal yeah we'll see polarity should be high in my case let's debug it again plug in the power supply and now you see that the value is increasing and the duty cycle of signal also increasing Thanks for watching this video guys, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.